Hey, I'm Frederick Ospo. We're here in Fontana loading up for um, for the Formula Drift, the Ultimate Drift uh, demo in Texas. We brought out the Japan Auto Supra that we competed with last year for the 2010 Formula, Formula Drift series. Yeah, the car has seen some um, a major overhaul. Uh, we basically brought it back from the dead. Every panel needed replacing. Uh, so we put a little bit of work into it. When we first decided on actually restoring this car, we wanted to uh, put a little bit of what we've learned into it. Uh, we went to Sabon to pick up the new rear hatch, which is old carbon fiber, uh, fitted perfectly. Um, one thing that you want in a drift car is not necessarily a 50-50 weight distribution. That would help with speed, but for this car, the Supra, it's actually more of a front-heavy uh, car. Uh, the rear hatch in the car is super heavy, and with the new part, it's, it's you know, featherweight compared. So bringing down uh, the weight of the rear actually helps with the transition. I always try to shoot for very hard transitions uh, and bringing down the toll weight of the car but also in the rear of the, of the, of the car makes a you know, ton of difference when it comes to transitioning from left to right in a drift. I can't wait to get back into the seat of uh, this car. I've had you know, so much fun with this Supra over the years and actually being able to go back in it is going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to check out what we're doing on June 11th, um, Google Ultimate Drift, it's a Formula Drift demo and actually a top 8 competition put on at Texas Motor Speedway right before the IndyCar race. It's going to be big, it's going to be a lot of fun and hope to see you there.